You blew it again, Lord Crump, you sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the gate cornered, but Stop talking, Lord Crump, you just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Gross's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. They will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you I do not want you to make... I do not... I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we had like an epic cutscene with Cortez and everything attacking and my dog is barking. I hope you can't hear her. But she's in her cage right now and she's all... Oh, she's all whining. Yeah, it's my first time the dog's really going to be doing anything. It's going to be... The dog's going to be part of the last play now. You have first go in the opposite direction of Sir Gross's room, exit the elevator, and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Okay, so since Gross's room is this way, we will go this way. It's convenient that there's no x knots here. You might be able to hear her. According to my thing, she, she's not coming in too loud. I think there's a little bit of things. I'll definitely be louder than her anyway. Now I'll have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Gross's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x -Not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Okay, now if you see there's some signs here, it says, Note, do not place the red potion on the far right. This one says, Note, place the blue potion next to the red potion. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Now, just that one alone means you know that the red has to go on the far left. Since it can't be on the far right, and the only way to have two in between is to have it have them perfectly spread out and then since blue needs to be next to the red there's only one spot left and that is where orange is gonna go are you sure yes this is fine and then what you're gonna want to do is you want to come over here hit that and you want to hit the colors as they come and it's it this is the easiest part of the whole well actually it can kind of trip you up sometimes I don't know press the button as it comes by so first it's gonna come to this one and you're gonna and then... Ah, oh, crap, I screwed up. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, man. My mom came in real quick there. I gotta... Up. Oh. Okay, I think I'll stop here. I only get one shot of green. I have to wait exactly 30 seconds again.
Alright, okay, I think that's close enough for 30 seconds. Even though I screwed up the potion, but you know what? I screwed it up. I'm gonna drink it anyway, just for you people. Just so you guys can see what happens when you screw up. Even though I could've said no. Ah! Did she just stay like this? Like, come on. This is way better if she's like this, actually. I didn't even know she would go big. Yeah, I think she's reverts to normal. Okay, let's do this. Let's oh, yeah, let's screw it up. No, wait, Back it again. Oh, wait, it's an apple slice. That should be good. There we go. If it comes out lime green, I'm pretty sure you got it right. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly? Yes. Okay, so then you just hit A on it and she drinks it, and then where'd she go? Oh, fine. I guess if it's the only way, yeah. They're, they tech told her to take her clothes off, and then the game developers were clearly very lazy, and they didn't make an animation of her taking off her clothes. Huh? Okay, that was creepy. How? Did, why did the doors open even though there's no one here? Malfunction, or am I just totally losing it here? I think it's funny. The Peach interludes in this game aren't near as deep as they were in the first game. Oh jeez, we're gonna face those guys later. And that, well we've already seen that kind of guy before, but we will face him, him too. It smells like fish in my house now. Because, like, I don't know. My brother had some fish. Now that thing is scary. Look at its face. It's just like, Ooh, go get you. What the heck going on? This must be Gross's room. Now where is that disc? Um, I believe she said, or Tech said it was in here. This must be it. You get the data disc. Even though there's so many floppy disks there, Paige just knew which one was the right one. I like how it's Metroid. Or something like that. I believe it's Metroid. I did it. Yes, I did it. It's working. Or it's Mario or it's something. I don't know. Feel free to leave in the comments what it is. I thought it was Metroid, but it could really be anything. It's funny how it's a game. It looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. It's kind of hard to see Princess Peach's shadow right now. Like, right now, like it's easy to see. But when you're on the other side of the room, you can't see it. When you're in like these x not things, you can't even see it at all. I bet there's people like watching just being like, Where the heck is Peach? Are you even controlling anyone? What the heck is going on? Now I just want to come all the way this way. Like, there's so much walking in this game. Holy crap. Well, at least in this part of the game. And he's not confused this time. He just accepts that he's going crazy. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I'll teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. Okay, so Peach gonna put her clothes back on. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? So you're gonna come over to the green potion, just take it out. And what a relief, I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that, now please return to the computer room. Okay, now this is probably gonna be really hard because we're gonna have to try like avoiding all those X-knots again. So let's try it, here we go. Oh, okay, we teleported. I didn't, I didn't, okay, that was weird. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? 
I'm still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct... What? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay. You'll... You'll tell me when you're when you decipher the data, huh? Okay, good. Then I'll use the communicator. Thanks. I've written my message. Would you send it? Ding, ding. I I always like the sound effect. The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. I love how, like, Peach is so, like, bipolar. She's very, like, Princess Peach. I will protect you. I don't know. I always find it weird. Peach is very bipolar around Tech. She's, like, very pissed off at him, and then she's happy about him, and then she's got to make up her mind sometime. And we know what comes next. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's Bowser. I love Bowser in this game. He's so cool. Black, what is this pl Black, what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's off because it's Twilight Town, my lord. Should be a treasure here. Let's put in the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. You walk around, there's like nothing to do here. No one will let you do anything. You can't even go off into the next area. They actually blocked off the next area. So you want to talk to Lord Crump here. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb I'm somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This is, whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else. Oh, look at that. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog! Bu 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 <laughs> The look of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy! You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? But somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet! This would be... help. This will help cr the crumb come back. No then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know now. Uh, uh actually, it's you who's got to spill everything about inf every bit of info about your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, 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 whoa there, you big guy. I mean, no. Wait, what am I afraid of you? <laughs> if you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troops, report. I love this. I love the scene. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Cut a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Whoa, Jesus. Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? <laughs> Oh, uh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dork super bomb bomb! Incoming! <laughs> what? What was that? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. Gwa ha 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 ha. This is how, this is how you do it. Amateur, watch and learn. Oh crud. And there goes Twilight Town. I love the Bowser cutscenes. Next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Ah. We are going to be returning back with Mario as we always do. See you guys next time.